Alright, let's talk custom kicks. Uh, this is an educational video, kind of, whatever, I don't know, Discovery. Uh, been playing with these 2007 and up. Um, GMCs and Chevy, 4x4 Sierra, HDs, the ones that, uh, actually, I think all of them do it. Um, I am a certified ETA technician. I understand electronics. I don't know why I think about it in my sleep. It haunts me. It's been haunting me my whole life. There is no real way around this RVC system that Chevy or GM has put in. Okay? You can externally regulate, but 2007 and up, there is the grounding amperage clamp on the cable right there. I have metered it out. I am going to try to figure out a resistance to provide to it to get the voltage right where I want it. But there's an easier way to do it than that. See that? It can't control the alternator if the alternator ain't plugged in. This Mac man evidently has a self exciting voltage regulator. So, since you turn the damn thing, it kicks on. But, either way, we've been able to leave this one unplugged for quite a while. No issues. There's no reason to leave it unplugged. The RVC system will kick in when you load the truck. This one, for instance, has cerebral kinetics in it. it. Has that one. Oh, I think I got a couple more back here. I don't know. This car, truck is in preparation for a very large build. And yes. 12.5, whatever. Nothing? Okay. Because I had that unplugged, watch. It won't kick the exciter back in because I plugged the cables in, the computer sees it. So now I gotta restart the truck to get the alternator to kick back in. Okay. So now we're good. 14.9, man. Now watch. It will drop. Within seven minutes, that will drop. And it'll go down to 13.2. Is the lowest I've seen it, but then it kicks in and starts charging back up, which is fine. Unless you're in competition. So, then you come in, you unplug the damn all the way. Okay? And what that does is it keeps the regulator at 13.7. So now, there for a minute a little bit and let's see what happens when we turn it off and it goes down to 13 2 oh there's another kinetic hold on right, just so you guys know what we're dealing with one mechman alternator all lock gauge cable two this is an 1800 the others a 2400 three meds and highs amp four channel dd sub amp M1A BD so that's what we have here and if you recall I have had it the alternator unplugged for a little while here and yeah we got three big ass kinetic batteries and only a 1500 watt amp or so so you know hey oh by the way this is project fourth order Clam shell. And it's getting cold. Dang, got all these lights on, got that voltage dropped down to 12.8. Turn this crap off. 
Oh, anyway. So, I know it's hard to see. There, I'll block it for you. Boom. So, if you need to regulate it to where it's at least constant and doesn't have the fluctuation crap, with a mech man, which has the self excited um, regulator in it, then uh, you're good. You just unplug the damn thing. Run all your arc gauge cables, your ground arc gauge cables, and be done with it. I'm charging at 13.7 right now. That's, that's very usable for DD. They're rated at 12 volt. So, uh, true 12 volt. Um, yeah, uh, one thing I didn't mention. Got the couple of DD 2515s, not 3515s. But if I go plug that damn alternator in, cycle the, val the truck again, it may sit at 13.7. It may drop. That's fine for everyday driving. If you need it to constantly recharge after you pound the shit out of it at a competition, there you go. Unplug it. But anyway, I haven't seen any videos on anybody that even knows where the grounding amperage clamp is on these trucks. I've looked it up on forums, every dang thing else. Um, I'm going to meter the shit out of that thing. I'm going to figure out what it is. I've had... I work for Motorola. I've had much worse, uh, much harder things to try to figure out. Um, so I'm going to see what the CPU is looking for to get that to 14.9 and provide it. So um, I can plug that into the, the amperage clamp when I'm in competition and go from there. I thank you all for watching this video. It's been a long one, but there has not been anything on the subject. So thank you.